Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm going to be doing an, um, my first update on my um, roulette pan collab. This is round seven, um, but this is actually my first time participating. I'm sure um, all of you know, but this project was started by Rebecca and Alexi, I think about two years ago. And this has um, become a really big collaborative project uh, with a bunch of YouTubers. So it's really fun um, and I just couldn't resist joining in. Um, basically, you choose um, six makeup products or six categories from a spreadsheet randomly and then you pick a makeup product that goes with that category. And unfortunately, I do not have any to roll out this time, but I think, I'm hoping at least that by next update I will have one or two that I can be able to roll out and randomly pick a new project or new product. So I'm just gonna get right into it, try to keep it short. Um, so the first item I pulled, well, I'm just gonna go in numeric order, not necessarily with the order I pulled them in. So the first product is number five on the list and it is a product that makes you feel like an artist. I picked the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder um, the Smoother Primer and um, I'm a, I, it was full when I put it in and I'm about halfway there. I think I've used it three times. Um, so, I only use this whenever I am going out for like a special occasion, like, um, which let's be honest, there are not a whole lot of special occasions in my life at this time, especially with the virus. So I think maybe I don't know if I'll use it between now and the next update, but I will try. And if worse comes to worse, I can just use it on a normal day, but I like to save it for like more special occasion because it is high end. Um, that being said, the reason I picked this as a product that reminds me of being an artist is because, um, first of all, I related it to makeup artists because makeup artists use high end products and I don't have a whole lot of high end products. I just got this as a free sample. And then secondly, because um, real artists use like paint primer and so this is like priming your face, like, like you're priming a wall. And so the second um, number is number 12, a product that starts with a first letter of your name. My name is Sarah. So I picked the um, Stila convertible co color and I guess like the brand starts with my first letter. I, I don't know if that's cheating, but oh well, S and S, whatever. Um, so Michael on this, it's actually, I don't know how gross this looks, so I don't know if you even want to see it, but it looks like that. It's a, um, you can use it as a lip product or a cheek product. I only use it as cheek product because I feel like it's just like weird contamination if you like because I like pat my sponge in it to use it and I don't want to put something like it's just no I'm not doing that on my lips but especially since I already have like weird lip weird stuff anyway but um, my goal was to use it 30 times and so far I have used it 17 times so I'm over halfway there um, I'm really proud of that progress. Um, if you remember, this was actually in my 19 and 2019 project last year, and I got really discouraged with it because it's very hard to see progress on it. It's not powder, so you can't really like see your hitting pan. I guess I guess you can still hit pan, but um, yeah, it's just it's not that like exciting. I don't know. It is a really pretty product, and I think maybe at the end of this year I'll need to throw it away just because it is getting. Um, I'm pretty sure it's definitely over, like, it's going to be over a year old for sure. It'll be, by the end of the year, probably like a year and a half to two years old. So I might need to just throw it out at that point. So we'll see. But I do want to get as much use out of it as possible. So I still have, um, I guess, 13 more uses to go on that one. The next um, number is number 28 which is a product you love the color but dislike the formula or the opposite. So I picked my um, Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm for this. This is what it looks like. It's a highlighter. It's a duochrome. Um, it's kind of like green and pink, I would say. Shift. It is really pretty. I'm not wearing it today, but I've been wearing this like before I set my foundation with powder. I'll put this on. Um, and I'll, I'll put it like here and then also down my nose and then on my forehead right here and here. Um, I do have like drier skin. So, um, I know like a lot of like people with oily, skin, uh, oily skin don't want to add extra shine on their forehead, but I personally don't mind it because I'm already dry. So who cares? But, um, yeah, there's not really a way to show progress. So I, I have been counting and I have used this a total of 18 times. So one more than my last one. So now I only have, um, 
oh gosh, math in my head, 12, 12 more times that I can have to use it before um, I can roll it out and roll in something new. So that's really exciting. The next product is a product that everyone hates but you love. And I, I don't think necessarily everyone's going to hate any product. Um, I think obviously like hate is an opinionated word. And I don't really use the word hate in my daily life because I think it's whatever. I'm, I mean, you're probably like, what are you even going off about? But I, I just think it's a like nasty word. But anyway, um, I picked this product because it's not cr cruelty free, cruelty free. And um, I know that a lot of people are very like they want to have their entire collection cruelty free. So that's why I picked this product. Um, it's a Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I It's in the shade Translucent. I, well, actually it looks like the line has gone down. I, I was going to say like, I don't think the line's gone down, but actually it has like quite a bit. Uh, I need to mark that. I didn't even think to mark it. I just thought, oh, I'll just mark the ounces or whatever. Huh, that's so interesting. So um, I personally don't, didn't think this would go that fast just because well it's like it, it was like nearly gone when I put it in the project so I shouldn't say that but at the same time I have drier skin like I said so I don't know I just use powders slower than a lot of people a lot of people can like breeze through them and it and I've had this for I've had this since my sophomore year of college and um so it's been about three years that I've had this two to three so I'm excited to finish it. But my goal on this one was not a use goal. It's just to completely finish it. So now I would say I'm about down here. And last time when I weighed it, it was, I did not weigh it um, whenever I initially put it into the project. I think at the time I filmed my intro or I don't know why I didn't weigh it at the intro, but I didn't weigh it at the intro. Um, but once I realized like, oh, I should weigh this, I weighed it and it was 2.19. So I think it was like a little bit more than that at the intro, but now it's at 2.05. So I've used about, oh gosh, I don't know. I don't want to do math in my head. But anyway, yeah, I guess I could. 14, um, out, 0.14 ounces. So yeah, I'm really um, satisfied with that, especially considering the like visual progress. Um, so maybe, I didn't think it was possible for me to finish. I thought, I didn't personally think I was going to be able to finish this by the end of this project, but now it's looking like I definitely will be able to, so that's super exciting. The next product is um, a perfume, a Victoria's Secret, or I picked a Victoria's Secret Roll on perfume. I do have, like, perfumes and other products. I have two perfumes in my um, 2020, 2020, so uh, that you know, obviously I can't spend all my time with on this one. And also, I also want to say that um, since it has been, I don't usually wear perfume around the house and um, unless it's like a body mist or whatever from Bath & Body because it's just cheap. But I haven't been able to wear this because it is very cold outside. And um, yeah, it's just like, I can't, it's roll on. So you can't like, I have sleeves on, you know, I can't roll it. But I was gonna like really ramp up the usage once I um, am able to start wearing like tank tops and short sleeves and stuff like that outside. Um, so I barely made any progress. We started out here and now I'm down to here. So I think I've used it once or twice. Um, so I know that's like, I need to do better on this, but it's not because I wasn't trying, it's just because I literally could not, um, simply because I'm wearing like long sleeves and long pants. So like, where am I gonna put it? besides my neck, but that's just like a, such a small area and like, I wanna have like all over my body, so I use different perfumes. Anyway, that was a long rant. The last product in this project is um, Something Brown patch Packaging or Product, which was number 83, and I picked my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You have to smell it every time you open it. If you don't, then you're crazy. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I um, don't think it looks that different from what it did. It really doesn't. I don't think so. I, I'm going to be amazed the day that I hit pan because, like, I just don't know how deep these pans are. I don't know. But it, I instead of having, like, a goal of hitting pan, because I knew that was probably a crazy goal, um, I had a goal of using it 30 times, and um, I have only used it 13 times. Um, and... I don't feel like that's bad, but I don't feel like that's great. Um, I I should probably have done better. Um, the reason I haven't used it as much is because, um, for one, I have a 
different bronzer in my 2020 Trony project that I've used a few times. And then I also, bronzer is one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine. So if I am going like out on a special occasion type thing, or if like I want to look extra cute, I just use whatever bronzer that I want to use. Um, because that's just how I choose to use my makeup. And um, I usually use like one that, a different one. I've been, I've been really enjoying my Milani one recently. So that's kind of been my go-to fun day one. But if I'm just like going to class or something, I'll use this one. Um, so that's the end of the update. But I do want to say that um, I do think that by next update, my progress will have greatly slowed down because of the virus. I've been staying inside and not really wearing makeup. Uh, if I do have to like go to the grocery store or go pick up food from like a fast food place or something, I will put on makeup for you so that I can get you some, uh, you know, for me, whatever. Um, but uh, other than that, like I don't see much of a point of wearing like a full face of makeup when I'm just home and I don't live with anyone either. It's just like me and my dog. So she loves me bare face too. But anyway, um, I'm not trying to make light of the situation at all. I'm just like stating the reality of how this is probably going to impact um, my panning at least. I know a lot of like amazing panners have been um, doing a full face of makeup every day and I think that's like so cool and um, I think that uh, maybe I would be willing to do that if I like had a boyfriend or had anyone like here to see it but literally no one's here to see it so there's no point um, but anyway I hope that um, everyone has been safe and that your family's safe and that this is all going to pass so quickly but um, that being said Y'all have a wonderful day or night and God bless you and God bless your family. Bye.